Run it back, baby. Run it back. Let's go. Ugh. My keyboard has to feel it. The run does not end there, no. For a run to be official, you have to beat the game normally. Plus, if the run ended there, what about the fortress in World 8? We still gotta do that fortress. So that's why you sit back, you relax, and you wait and see this awesome thing happen. You know what I think I forgot to do? Hit the coins. That was my- that was my flaw. Yo, with how many people are on the leaderboard, Haxer, like, there should be no reason why this isn't an official category. I think a lot of people don't want all forts as an official category because it's too similar to Warpless. Because you pretty much do all the same shit as Warpless, except the fact that... Except for the fact that you get to use the warps and use... So it's kind of dumb, right? It's not like Warpless at all, because now there's... You use all the warp whistles and you do a wrong warp glitch. So now it's far from anything like Warpless. So... I think this glitch can push it into an official... Yeah, you get to skip some castles. And with what I discovered, my, you get to skip more than that. Ooh. Oh, you, you shouldn't have. You shouldn't have watched the clip. You should have let it surprise you. I made it. I made sure. I'm like I surprised everyone until I got it. There's no way I was revealing my secrets. Not until I do, of course. Uh, TwitchCon was awesome. Like I've said before, TwitchCon can be done in a day. So the other two days are really just kind of like, you know. They're like whatever days, you know? Or people who haven't been there don't know, I guess. What's my favorite speedrun category? Uh, I don't think Zick could be really spoiled that much. He almost did. Nobody, nobody really knew exactly what was gonna happen. It was close. There was definitely a lot more that he could have said to spoil it, but he didn't. Ah, oh, terror. I'm sorry, man. Good night, dude. We'll miss you. Go up. Yeah. It was well. It was obviously annoying at first. But. I think I'm just passionate about, you know, being creative with this, that it just... It, it probably bothered me more than it should, but whatever, it's over now, nobody cares. Okay, so what I was talking about before, if... If All Forts gets into GDQ, then I will do this. And it could softlock me, as you guys can see. So, what essentially is going to happen is I'm going to... I'm gonna put my run on the line at GDQ. And I think, I think it's a, that's a good idea because it, it's, it's more things, man. It's more things, right? Makes it more exciting. Is Mitch gonna get it? Like, oh no, you know? And then watch me, like, if I get it and somebody's ahead of me doing the tank in eight, eight tank one, right? You know what I mean? And then I warp, but I'm ahead of them. Like, that's cool.
That, exactly, that would be very high. It's a wrong warp at the end of a race. Like, that's crazy. But if I don't get it, then I lose. You know, whatever. Softlock runs over. I walk off stage. Or sit there and wait for everyone to finish. You know, I could, I could turn into a commentator for the rest of the race. I think going for the wrong warp to save a good chunk of time in the race is worth the loss that you get for it. It's like justified. People be like, well, obviously he lost. I mean, look what happened, but he's crazy for going for it, you know? So we'll see. I, I have a feeling all forts isn't going to get into GDQ, though. To do it first try upside down in less than five minutes. So, what like this? I pretty much have to play like this. Nah, it'll be a waste of time because I don't think I'd do it in under five minutes. It'd be a waste of time. Thank you, though, for the, the bounty, but I don't think I'll, I'd be able to do it. I'm sorry. Sounds exciting, though. Ask me tomorrow. I swear I won't practice tonight. <laughs> Just kidding. Takate, thank you for the uh, host, man. I really appreciate it. And again, congrats on that thick and juicy run you did. Yo, what up? Beep! Just watch back the GDQ run. Nice. Great commentary. Yeah, dude. I mean, I didn't really say too much. What? Why did he jump there? What the fuck? Well, I mean, time waste. Why did he jump there? He jumped at the end of the platform. Well, I mean, I talked and I talked enough. Like I talked throughout the whole race. Uh, it's very possible, Cleveroni. Very possible. I'm not. I'm not crazy into the arts of these, you know, special things in Mario 3, but it's very possible. <laughs> All you can remember in my commentary is me going woo. I do that a lot. Oh, no, you don't, cats. I just avoided a coin ship right there. Imagine I didn't get the- Imagine I haven't got the new trick yet. I feel so bad for, like, hyping everyone up, and then it takes me, like, two days to get it. What a shitty trick, right? No, no, no. I promise, guys. Of course, the World 3 that I can't get perfect because of the stupid power-up. I get perfect RNG. Or at least so far, it's been perfect. What happened in yesterday's trick? I was not here yesterday, so I'm not sure what you're referring to. I'm 
I'm not. I uh, my Como Goddess said she watched it. Haxer said she saw one. So one of the clips is definitely me doing it. What do you think so good with your little top patterns? Mai's memory's bored. She doesn't know what she's talking about. She's all over the place. So this category at this point compared to 100% is three minutes, four minutes faster. Can you believe that? When I'm at this exact point in 100%, It's normally 15, like 50. Not this level, obviously. But the auto scroller that I just passed. Yo, thank you for the good luck. <laughs> oh, the cuties. Uh, nothing happened to 100%. Why does everyone keep thinking something's happening to 100%? I guess because I'm not running it? I mean, that makes sense, right? Everyone knows I'm going to run it until I get the world record, so... I kind of feel bad, though. I guess if I'm not running it, a lot of people think that, I'm get that I got the record and that they missed it or something. But worry not. Worry not. You didn't miss it. You didn't miss it, guys. Worry not, worry not, worry not, worry not. Yeah, you guys are just curious, I know. You know what you guys should be? Shutting the hell up, that's what you should be. Just kidding. What's insane? Uh, the new time save in this category. The new route. Oh, the Kappa beside that. Down and dirty. Yo, what is this? What am I, an information booth? What's the matter, Fuzzy? You want to get all the details and then be like, well, I'm out. Fuck it. Nope. You want to learn? You better sit your ass down and watch. No. Uh, it's, it's a time save in World 5, 6, and 8 is where the time saves are. Somebody can clip it. Somebody can clip it and give it to Fuzzy. It has, it's the, we just posted. You, you can watch it if you want. Dude, what's fucking crazy is that it gives you, it like, remember, remember before I did it, I was telling you guys that the, the trick does something in Mario that you would never ever think in any existence it would be possible. And what I'm referring to there is the fact, and a lot of people probably haven't noticed this, but it gives me my, my hammer suit back. It gives me my hammer- why does it give me my hammer suit back? I did the clip as small Mario, lost my hammer suit, got the clip, if- well if you- watch- watch the clip! I do it as small Mario, and then I enter the world as Hammer Suit Mario. I don't understand. That's just like the icing on the cake. It just makes it perfect. If I lost the Hammer Suit, then we would no longer do Hammer Suit. Because you'd lose it. It's so messed up, man. It's- I have no idea why. <laughs> the game has learned. Yeah, the game's like, you know what? Just give him the damn Hammer Suit. That's the opposite of anything you've ever seen in a Mario game. Once you take damage, you can never get your suit back. How is that possible? I have no idea what causes it to give me my hammer suit back. It just does. I think, I think it restores to my outside of the level data. I think that's what it does. So because I entered the level 
with the hammer suit, so I was in the overworld with the hammer suit. When it restores me into world eight, it gives me my. It, it restores me. It's pretty much just. I don't know, man. I don't know. It does the same thing, so what happens is I can do the wrong warp and mess it up. And if I mess it up, sometimes it sends me back in front of 7 1. And I can try it again. It'll just. It's almost like I die, but it sends me back. And I got my hammer suit still after taking damage. So it's very weird. Yo, Sora, welcome back! Tier 3. It was fun finally making good on my promise to awkwardly wave at you. To what and who now? I didn't hear that. My text to speech is dumb. <laughs> to awkwardly wave at you, yes. Yeah, you guys popped over at a really bad time. I was talking with Feasel, the guy from Speed Gaming. He wanted to hear my uh, proposal for ideas, so I had to go through the whole thing with him. It was really good. He really enjoyed it. So, some interesting things, guys, uh, might come to speed gaming for Super Mario Bros. 3. Some interesting things. Baby. To prove it, get the glitch in the flower suit. It'll get... Well, I already- I've already proved it, because I've done- I've done the wrong warp with the tail instead of the hammer suit. Whoops. Alright, this is the level. Well, that was heart-wrenching. My body temperature just boosted a thousand degrees. If you lose your fire suit there, that's it. And I came so close on so many occasions. Almost getting my ass handed to me. Dude, I'm getting so many bad movements in this world. I just don't know why it gives me my uh, suit back. Ugh, that's so tough, man. He tried, man. He tried. Well, he better try again. Alright, here we go. Let's go. Alright, what do we got? Stop! I think they switched. Ah. Caused a little bit of too much lag. Yeah, the Hammer Brothers. The Hammer Brothers really juking me around this world. Oh! You got a Dunhaxer? Nice. It's pretty sick, right? Yeah, get out of my way, HB. Yo, if they didn't switch like that, I wouldn't have got the correct item. I don't want the other hammer, brother. Yo, KP, man. Good to see you, dude. Glad to support in my absence. Yes. Your yet. Uh, uh, my fingers are always almost exploding. But good to see you, man. I hope all is well. I, I hope whatever problems in life that come your way, you deal with it in a healthy way, as always. So I hope you're doing good. All right, here we go. All right, that's good. My hard man emote. So silly. 
I look so dumb. All right. So I'm in the clear for the the P wing. I have two chances. I have two chances to get lucky here. You would think two chances to get lucky here is pretty much a, a better way of saying I have a very high chance of getting lucky here. I only want the hammer brother that's closer to me, not the one that's further away. I only want one hammer brother in this world. I don't want the ones in the cloud either. So let's see. All right, I'm safe. Because after I beat this level, you can only move back. Nice, get the P-Wing. Nice. After this level, he can only move back, so he's not in my way. Now, I just have to avoid the Hammer Brother in the clouds. Ooh, right in there. Dude, you're so fast with P-Speed, man. Mario 3. Mario 3 is like the sport of all Marios. Yo, Kicking, what's up, man? Or a coin ship. Nope. No, no, no. Avoid the coin ship. Which, I actually forgot about the coins for the coin ship. Which, thank you. But I, I'll be good here. I'll be fine. Nice. 280 is pretty good. 69, guys! We did it. Okay, I have to avoid this Hammer Brother as well. Again, you know, completely out of my control. That's what makes this game so interesting. Oh. If you get a single frame jump, you can jump out of the side of that pipe. But you only get one coin rather than two. So there's a very big difference there. Alright, what do we got here? Moving to three? That fucking sucks, but whatever. I have not had to do that strategy in a long time, but I did it. Got it done. If he does another movement of three, I'm screwed. So hopefully he moves right up. If he moves directly up, that's good. If he moves back, I'm screwed. I gotta use my music box. And I'm fucked, so. Welcome to Super Mario Brothers 3. But I have an extra music box, so peace. Put his candy ass to sleep. Uh, this world actually turned out to be pretty good. Sadly, I'm forced to get another movement of three. Hammer Brothers cannot cross over levels that I've already beaten, so there's only one direction for him to go. There's only one direction for him to go. He can't cross over those spade card tiles. And he can't cross over completely. So I have to get a movement of three, which is, in this case, could have got, technically could have got a movement of one, so it's a one second time loss. go I do not have a music box for bad RNG I only want two hammer brothers in this world and this is one of them I want the other one that I want is it has a cloud fantastic they just switched which is me being sarcastic Oh, I didn't think I was going to make that. That was very scary. The entire level is made of lava in the ground. Nice. If I do two single frame inputs there, I get to keep my P speed. Yeah, this is a new route that I discovered. You'll see soon enough. Movement of one. Nice, there we go, okay. Alright, so the Hammer Brother on the bottom is not the Hammer Brother that I want, sadly. So I, I feel like I'm gonna get screwed here. I can just see it now, you know? Nice P-Speed Strat, very difficult. Alright, okay. 
right, that's turning out pretty good. That, that top hammer brother is not the hammer brother that I want, so I just avoid him. That's pretty good. Hopefully he doesn't move back to the right, but regardless, I think I'm pretty safe here. Let's take a look. Yeah, yeah, I'm safe. You can tell which Hammer Brother is which, uh, depending on which way they're facing after they do their movement. Much like, you know, kind of like Mario Maker, the flying runs out. It's after they move, what direction they're facing. The Hammer Brother I want face left after he moves, which is the cloud. Alright, we have a single frame, uh, single pixel, single frame trip coming up. That is the wall jump. It's really not that bad. When you're small Mario, you, you can always get the sub-pixel. It's not random, but it's still pixel perfect. And then single frame input with the wall jump, as much people know. All right, let's go. Got it first try. Hey, come on now, I jumped you little bitch. One shot, one dream, one moment. All right, this fortress is scary because I'm small Mario. P speed is always ass blasting speed. What's the new route time save all about? You're gonna find out. Oh. oh, I got one tile build. That's pretty good. Nice. We, <laughs> yeah, we might find out. Is it? <laughs> we might not. Booty blasting with Mitch. Yeah, exactly. All right, this was a really good world six. At least I think it was. What did I mess up in this world? Ass blasting. Yo, P speed's fast, man. It's fun. Time saving coming? Yes. Yes. Whee! We avoided all coin ships. Which is good. Coin chips? How much to donate for ass blasting? I don't even know what that is, if that was a thing. Oh, I'll ass blast you. I'll give you the ass blast. Very nice. There's no need to keep the fire. I mean, the fire on Boom Boom and the boss. 
But I have an extra star, so it doesn't matter. Only the very first pixel of that pipe can land me on top of this next pipe. So you have to enter on the far most right pixel possible to land on top of the other pipe. If, if you don't, then you have to land on the ground, jump in the pipe. New gold? Well, World 6 is the same, Giga. That was a real gold. Well, actually, never mind. I take it back. I take it back. Everything I just said was a lie. Using the warp whistle in World 5 creates that gold. Yes, yes, that was my bad. I forgot, I always forget about that time save when you use the warp whistle. Have I already gotten a new record using new strats? Yes, but only by one second. Because <laughs> I wasn't warmed up with the all forts category, so it was nothing special. Dude, I love the menuing right now for the P-Wings. It's literally just smashing buttons right now. Look at this, watch. Uh, you know, you just go. I love it. <laughs> Sorry for my obnoxious noises. Menuing has never been so easy. Who came up with the new route? If the turtle doesn't move, Haxer, you won't get it. But if the turtle moves too much, you won't get it. The turtle has to move only one pixel. Well, maybe more. I, can, I don't know. I don't know either. I just know how to do it. It's weird. I built my peace speed back. That's Pogalicious. Pogalicious. This is the run where I want to get it. This run just got to a whole other level. Nice, really good. That clip saved a good solid like eight seconds. From what I did in my run, it should only save about five. But all right, here it is guys Here it is Yo, that long distance snipe. All right, let's go So we're gonna do something called a uh, screen transition skip like a scroll skip or whatever because I'm moving on the transition here I can get one free input and skip that piranha plant sadly, I got to go back here and Mess this thing up, but luckily because I'm doing pipe transitions. I don't have to worry about it see all right here we go let's do, 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 do this I 
wonder if I'm not getting it because I'm killing him in that pipe. I bet that's the issue. I bet it is. Like, I bet this isn't going to work now because of that. I dropped down here to ensure, to ensure the despawn. All right. Uh, Bluey D, you'd have to wait and find out. If the screen glitches up and Mario isn't shown, then I kind of know that I got it. We'll see if it does that. I hope it does. Nice, got it. Why why do I have my hammer suit? Like why do I have my hammer suit? You know, like why it gives me my suit back. That makes no sense. Why? I I took damage. I lost it. It's so awesome, man. I love this trick, dude. There's no reason in Mario history you, do you guys like my little card three right now? My little squiggly frog suit, half half wire, half flower. Look at card three. You got a squiggle instead of it saying like you got a mushroom. You got a card. You got a squiggle. <laughs> no, but honestly, I, I I really don't understand why it gives me my hammer suit back. You guys watched me take damage. I was small Mario when I did it, but the game's like oh. Haxer, you want to know another weird little interesting thing about this? Yeah, yeah, there's definitely an explanation for it. You want to know something else that's really weird, Haxer? You know how naturally when you enter this airship, or this, this tank, you can't move until you touch the ground, right? But when you do this, you can move as you're floating in the air. Load up the practice cart, Haxer, and enter this level and do it. All right, no hands would be crazy pog here. All right, that's really bad. Well, no, I got one hand in my PB, or, you know, world record. This is awesome. Uh... This is awesome until I get freaking two more hands. Then it's not awesome anymore. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I don't want any of these levels right now. I don't want any of these levels. Like I said before, I took damage and I did the wrong warp and it gave me my hammer suit back. All right, we got world record. <laughs> Look at that squiggle. Oh, I haven't checked my items yet. I have to check and see if I have a star If I have a star then that's awesome. I might have a star We haven't checked the inventory yet guys. That's a big thing in this the inventory well, I'm gonna lose time but... How the fuck is this at? Well, you see, I'm a, I'm a nerd and a loser with no life, and all I do is play video games. So it gives me enough time to work and figure this stuff out. Oh, that lag, right? Like, where is it coming from? I hope I don't, like, crash from, like, lag or something. That'd be really strange. All right, we're gonna see what items I have really quickly. I hope I have a star. My inventory is gonna be really messed up. It'd be sick if locks didn't spawn. I don't know what items those are. What are these? 
I don't know what those were. I had like invisible items. What were they? All right, don't crash. Oh, I got a, a, a T times eight or a TX eight. I love that card. That one's my favorite. Lots of items. Also, look beside my score. What the fuck happened there? Ah, I killed the sun anyways. <laughs> Got him. <laughs> look at my score. There's like a weird dash and a part of my P meter has a weird color to it. I don't know what's going on, guys. TX9 is best card, obviously. <laughs> you got the TX9. That sounds like either a calculator or a terminator. One or the other. Fantastic. Oh, this is bad. Oh my god, you gotta be fucking kidding me, dude. That's so stupid, man. This never happens. It's so stupid. <laughs> oh my god. We're, we'll still get the record. Take that, Mr. Boom Boom. But we have, we have like an over, we have over a minute of time save in this world. Just to let you guys know. Well, I could I could get a better record right now. I want to test out those items though, because they could be clouds. I'll do that tonight. The only way to accurately check and see what items I have is to um, I have to do a full run, because uh, when I use the practice cart and go straight to seven one with the items, or if I warp from world one with no items and stuff. It gives me- it always gives me different shit, man. It's giving me different shit all the time. Just use this run. I'm gonna- I'm gonna give you that suggestion the next time you're about to get a world record, and then, uh, we'll see, um... We'll see, uh, who's willing on, uh, that particular, you know... <laughs> Dude, fuck it, I should just do it. But if one of them crashes, right, it's a big waste. I should do it on a practice cart, do a full run, and then save state. Oh yeah, we're gonna get a sub 45 minute run. This is gonna be awesome. This is with two hands. Nice. Brand new world record. Can save much more time still. That was two hands. Dude, the strategy, man. The wrong warp is insane. Yo, King Andy, man. Thank you for the Twitch Prime. I really appreciate that. Dunday Jr. with the gift subs as well. Uh, CS Black, 72780 with the 100 bits. Thank you. Really appreciate that. And again, KP, welcome back, man. Good to see you. You came back on a good day. 